You know what? Last Tuesday, I got exclusive invited to meet and greet one of the top chefs in Canada and one of the iconic in the food industry. He's top chef, head judge, as well as uh, chef, celebrity chef, uh, Mark McGowan. Uh, if everybody watched Top Chef this this finale this Monday, you know, best shout out to the winner. And Mark McEwen, actually, I met him right at the McEwen Foods, the grocery store. It was my first time being there, and I got to tell you, all the ingredients are fresh. The oysters are fresh. Uh, there were different food stations where we were able to get invited to test it out. We were only, I was one of the lucky 30 exclusive members to able to show and meet and greet very very like cozy and I was the best part about me is that I'm able to m meet and chat with Mark McEwen just to get to know him better in in, in her, his personality as well to know about this grocery store there are a lot of fresh food there's uh, beef coming from PEI and these p specific PEI beef cows were fed by PEI potatoes and that was very interesting oysters was top-notch I was able to eat a lot of oysters that night and they were fresh from British Columbia Everything is fresh and being able to see, you see Mark McEwen on TV, like um, he, he put on the game face, but when you're in uh, behind the scenes, he's very down to earth, he's very sincere, he's very genuine, and I, I learned a lot from him. One of the questions I asked him was that one of my bucket lists, which is still a bucket list, is that I want to go to an ocean, dip my feet in wet in the water, and pick the biggest oyster and shuck it and eat it on the spot. And Mark McEwen actually told me where's the best place to go, and it is in PEI. So, Mark, I will take your words for it, and I will make sure I will plan to make a trip out to the East Coast and making sure to get the oysters. So, let's show some of the footage of the, the whole happening at Mark McEwen's meet and greet food tasting experience. say that on Top Chef many, many times. Yeah. To me, great basics are what kitchen's all about. If you make tomato sauce, you work with San Rosano tomatoes. If you work with, with beef, you work with PEI. Uh, we have a PEI. Now, as you can see, um, he was addressing Q&A. There was a good part of a Q&A session to, to ask questions of Mark McEwen. A uh, special shout out to Abby's Kitchen uh, for inviting me to this special place. And the best part is being able to hang out with other foodie. You know, on Twitter, you always talk to them. You also tweet to them. But to be able to be in person, to meet up with them, it, it, it's just an amazing experience. Now, my best part, there's different food stations. There was hot buns. There was uh, prosciutto. There was beef, wine, beer. Uh, the not 44 signature Ganogi was right there. It was top notch. But my favorite was the fresh oyster that was shot on the on the spot, and they were called Little Wing uh, from British Columbia. And I got to say special shout out to the McEwen staff, Frankie B, because he works really hard that night. Keep on shucking all the oysters for us. And check out my video blog right here of the oysters. Yoga is Mulverney on the move right now. Mulverney versus food right now at McEwen Foods. And here is Frank. A nice oyster right here, man. It's there you go. So what kind of oysters do we have here? Is it different, different types? No, there's just one type. There okay. are the, uh, from British Columbia, it's called Little Wing. It's called Little Wing? Little Wing. Oh, Little Wing. Wing, yes. That's a cool name. In fact, there's a song by Jimi Hendrix called Little Wing. Yeah, yeah the red's really good. Right and that's a yeah, the red's a nice fresh red. radish right there, man. That's I can smell right, it yeah. from here. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Check out these kind of fresh oysters. I'm going to check it out. And Wolverine's out here. Now, and another great news that during barbecue and the meet and greet is that they are finally going to open a grocery store right at the Toronto Path. It's going to be a 6,000 square feet uh, located just across Bymark. So in case you're going to Toronto Path and you see that side of the area is being blocked because McEwen is going to open a grocery store. And I can't wait to cover it. Can't wait to check out the oysters and all the fresh ingredients. So stay tuned. This is an amazing, amazing project. And I'm very happy about that. Now, Jeff Kearns, the Urban Music uh, Flawless is here in the studio. I'm going to interview it very shortly. But you know what? First of all, I love music. So last week was Canadian Music Week. It's a week to celebrate all the Canadian artists, Canadian talent. It's a conference where all the artists and all the PR managers uh, combine together to meet up, to provide, to share news, to share stories, how to network, and how to produce the great music that they come with for the audience. And I was able to interview one of the pop artists, breakout artists. His name is Brian Finley. And he flew all the way from Edmonton because he was based in Edmonton. And he was here to promote and perform uh, his 
different type of music, and I got the chance to sit down with him and also congratulate him to on the 2014 Edmonton Music Awards for his music song called "The Tonight Is All Right." So check out my interview right now. Yo, guys, this is Mo Verdi on the move right now. I'm loud outside outdoors right now. It's a beautiful day, and I, I'm continuing my coverage at the Canadian Music Week. And beside me is talented pop out artist from Edmonton, and his name is Brian Finley. Nice to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. Like, uh, first of all, you have a uh, nice fashion as well. Thank you. I, I try. I try. <laughs> now, you're from Edmonton Bay. How's Toronto treating you right now? How do you like the weather and stuff? The weather has been amazing. I didn't. I definitely didn't pack for like 24 with humidity. Um, yeah, Edmonton was pretty cold when we left, so this is this is way better. <laughs> now, first of all, congratulations on you winning 2014 Edmonton Music Awards on your latest pop called "Tonight Is All Right." Yeah, thank you very much. It was it was shocking to win that actually. Yeah. Now, tell us about uh, you break out the scenes by winning uh, the Bounce Showdown. What's that show about, and uh, how, how was the showdown? Like, do you have to compete with a lot of uh, competitors? Um, yeah, I think I don't think they do that anymore. It was a few years ago. I think it was 2010 or 2011, and it was my third time auditioning, and it was a lot of people. It was basically kind of like Canadian Idol, American Idol type style thing. And, yeah, past winners were like Krisha Turner, uh, Q Benjamin. Yeah, so it was, it was a pretty awesome experience. What was that feeling like with the moment when they call your name and you were the winner, and now you're into a career uh, here in the music industry? It was actually insane. You know, I there's even a video on YouTube somewhere of me have a reaction. It was, I, I couldn't think at the time. I was, like, stuttering on stage. It, it, it was embarrassing, but it was, like, inside I was overwhelmed. It was amazing. No, I do you have a lot... Now, there was a great interview and special shout out to Shrug Entertainment as well as Katrina for setting up this beautiful interview for me to interview Brian Finley. And the best part about interviewing Brian Finley is that he said he loves Toronto and he'll be back. And I can't wait to hear more of his new track and the, the stuff that he write. And make sure you follow him on Twitter and check him out as his work. Now, Canadian Music Week is the whole week. And another event that I got invited to was Chum Fan Fest 2014. The headliners, they were crazy. A solid performer of lineups. There was Magic Rude. Uh, that's how they got the stardom. And look at the, the, the performance right here. Magic Group Band is coming stardom and getting on the rise. And their, the specialty is mixing in with the reggae and, and the live stage performance is amazing. Now, other performance that was also there was Alexa Reed. Uh, satisfaction guarantees. Uh, congratulations on winning that, uh, that song to be in platinum. As well, th there was Tegan and Sarah, which they are coming back to perform during Pride. So if you're the fan of them, supporters of them, make sure you check them out during Pride, which is coming later in the summer. And Ali Golding, the UK British pop star, was there and she basically lights up everything on fire, just like her song Burn. It just lights up everything on fire. And also, another artist that I cover was Christina Maria. And as you can see from her performance, she was like really stunning. She's very talented, Canadian talent, and she can dance. And she's really gorgeous and hot too. And check out the performance here. So if you were at the Trump Fan Fest, let me know who were your per favorite performers, what was the greatest moment of their concert, let me know. And by the way, congratulations to Marta, who actually found me during the Trump Fan Fest because I was running a Moverney contest that whoever can spot me at the Trump Fan Fest first and mention about the Diversion t-shirt from sponsor from Booster Juice will win that t-shirt and she won it. She found me, she spot me, and she mentioned the Diversion t-shirt, so congratulations. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Moverney because I'm going to throw a lot of giveaway, a lot of content. Uh, and, and there will be a lot of gift prizes. 